Hello, Sydney. Come on, you think I'll come on, go and get some, Sydney! Hey, no fair! Hey, let's just be friends! Hi there, this is just a courtesy call to say that we can offer you a better rate on your current mobile contract. We can offer you unlimited internet access and unlimited texting for free, plus off-peak phone time. Let's be reasonable here. Uh, uh. Oh, hey, look, it's Jason. <laughs> Who's the man now, Sydney? I tied him up. What are you doing to him? Now I'm making him watch Dark Tanya Sydney. Really? That's a bit cruel and unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Look, I'm all for cruel and unusual, that's fine. Just make sure he doesn't get out. I'm going upstairs to finish that review. Just keep an eye on him, alright? Alright, you got that? Yes? Yes? Right. Alright, now a little mess is dealt with, let's combine the two, shall we? Let's make God Jinrai. He's a big guy, isn't he? He is, is about as poseable as Power Master Optimus Prime, which you can probably tell. He's poser... this. Um, you know what I mentioned earlier about the hands that they fold in because it requires them because these fit over to... Look, I'll show you exactly what I mean, look. I'm an idiot. And everybody goes... You know, we've been saying that for ages, and why does he not take it in? Well, now I'm admitting to it, because these bits here require you to have the hand out to fit in. So, the, Because this here, if you push this up, this bit cannot go over. So the fact remains that, much as it's nice that they push in, so when he's in truck mode they're hidden, it's not required for him to combine into God Jinrai, so the fact is you can combine him with Power Master Optimus Prime. So yes, yes, I know I thought I was being clever, but I wasn't, so there. Um, other than that fact, he's quite bulky. These parts add on here his feet, you can see that. Uh, the guns, I'm guessing, are meant to attach to the feet because there's nowhere else for them to go. And then he has this sort of like backpack thing here, you know, and the little wings that come out the back. Looks kind of nice, doesn't it? All in all, a great toy. As I said, I really like it. Now, I've got the Power Master Optimus Prime hidden here because he has the red evil eyes of death. And... Hey, Sydney, We're out of here, here, Sydney. Sydney. But go and get him yourself, then! Fine, if that's the things I get. Yeah. I'm not getting him one. Calls again, I'm not, I'm not responding, just ignore him. So, all things considered, and all things aside, it's a good toy. I'm, I mean, I think, actually, you combine it with Power Master Optimus Prime. It doesn't matter if you've got the Japanese variant of it, you know, with the um, transparent chest and the metal body, uh, upper body. It's, it really doesn't make a lot of difference. The fact remains, it's a great toy. It's rather large. You see, I can't quite get it on the camera. And if I take it back here, it sort of merges in with the background. It doesn't look too cool. But, as I said, my only, you know, minor gripe with the toy, other than the fact is, look, 
Okay, look, let's go about the posability just for a few seconds. I don't want to dwell on about it, but look, you can do this with his arm, so that's fine. So I can do that with my arm, you know, if I wanted to, I'm not saying I do, but if I wanted to, I can go like that. And you can move it forwards, just about. So he can go, or, which is fine, and that's it. If he wants to reach his, say his face for instance, you know, just say for instance, you know, he wanted to tap himself on the head, it ain't going to happen. There's no joint here. He cannot move. He has no elbow joint. And that's the least of his wise because his legs don't move at all. I know I'm splitting hairs, I'm just pointing out the toy itself. I'm actually a big fan of the toy. I've, to be honest, why am I trying to say I'm being honest? Because usually I'm lying to you. So for the first time ever I'm being honest, I kind of like the toy. It's not poseable, it's not articulate, it's a bit blocky, um, it has the poseable... Well, there's a posability of a brick, actually. But there's some subtle charm about the toy, which I just can't get over, and I really liked it, and I always will. And can I recommend it as one to get? With the combining set, it's a must-buy. I like Prime. I mean, he's got to be the only um, hero-type character you like. There's a lot of hero-type characters you think, nah, I like the bad guy, or... I'm rooting for the underdog, or, you know, along those lines. But Optimus Prime is the kind of guy that, yeah, you like. You know, you just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a weird upbringing from the 80s. I have no idea, so don't answer that. But, yes, look out for this toy. And if I can say one more... Coward! I am not a coward! I'm Zodog's Canyon! And don't you forget it! Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Michael, it's your agent. We've got a new part in the latest Halloween film, and we need you here, man, okay? I'm holding the part for you. You've just got to come and see this script, man. It's the best ever. gone quiet out there isn't it? I heard that noise but other than that I don't know. No, I'm gonna end this review. Let's go and see what's happening down there, shall we? What happened? He got out Sydney. I don't know how he did it, but he got out. Oh, I'm sorry, you should have been watching him. Well fine if that's the way you feel. And by the way, I need one of your watches so bad. Mm. Hey, I do how? I'll get you, Sydney.